question 14. How do you calculate the pKa of HCl? Okay, so first I'm just going to write down HCl when it is dissolved in water. It forms H3O plus plus a chlorine ion. Uh, so first, let's recall that to find the Ka value, it is the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of chlorine minus divided by the concentration of HCl. So typically, uh, sometimes the concentration of HCl is given. And then once we know that concentration, since everything is one to one, we just plug it in uh, in order to calculate for the Ka value. So we want the Ka value because in order to calculate for pKa, it is just the negative log of our Ka value. So the Ka, I'll just note it is the acid dissociation constant. And it pretty much tells us the strength of an acid. So if you had a larger Ka value, you have a stronger acid. If you had a smaller Ka value, it's a weaker acid. Okay, so let's see what the junior tutor said. To get the pKa, you need to apply the formula pKa is equal to negative log of Ka. And get the equation of Ka in HCl. HCl plus H2O makes H3O plus plus Cl minus. Ka is equal to the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of Cl minus divided by HCl. However, HCl is a very strong acid. The value of Ka turns very large, which is 10 to the 7. So when we take the negative log of 10 to the 7, we get a pKa of around negative 7. So this solution is correct.